What's going on, everybody? I'm joined with my sister. And we went to see the long shot performing live at the Horseshoe Tavern in Toronto. What time did we get Man, there? Man, I got up at 4.30. Okay, so she got up at 4.30. I got up at 5. Raced over to Toronto. And lucky enough, we were the first ones in line. So we lined up about 6 a.m. Foolish me, I wore a jacket. I don't know why. I had to go shopping around the corner. So I ended up actually buying some new clothing because I had to get comfortable. I waited there for most of the time. Then he went to buy this hat. And then... Yeah, because Goran Bros love these hats. They're like five stores down from the Horseshoe Tavern. So I had to just oh. naturally go inside there. Billy Joe had bought one the night before. Yeah, not one of these <laughs> one, but he, he bought one of the, the Goran Bros hats. The girl there told me because she asked what we were lining up for. So that was pretty funny, but we lined up at 6 a.m. And it was the hottest day in Toronto so far. And the people that own the Horseshoe Tavern were kind enough to let us actually line up on the inside. So we got drinks free water. Uh, there's actually a little secret window that leads to A&W, which is next door. So we've got some food as well. So everyone was pretty comfortable. I mean, the first like 40 people were comfortable. Everyone else had to unfortunately wait outside. The waiting process wasn't that bad. The day actually went a lot faster than I thought it would. <clears throat> we like, got to hear the sound check behind the curtain. Yep. Every so often someone would come through and I could get a glimpse of Billy Joe. It was crazy. Oh yeah, she she was in the right spot. She she actually got to, uh, she was sitting right where the curtain would open and a nice breeze would come by. So I was only lucky enough to experience that every now and then, but she got the full force. But Crystal was actually able to see Billy Joe and the band performing for the sound check. I was only able to hear it and film the curtain. So you'll see some of that in this video. I put one of the songs that they were actually practicing. I remember they were doing their live stream on the way to the venue in their Uber and my heart was just racing. I got him to feel my neck and it was yeah. like... Actually her pulse was going <laughs> nuts. So we actually made some great friends too. I mean they helped us a lot. Well, once they opened the, the barricade we were afraid of people just running in. So some of the people that we were with actually slowly walked inside the venue while Crystal was able to just bolt towards the stage and get front and center, which she always wanted. And I think this is the closest she has ever been to Billy Joe while he was performing. It's the closest I've ever been. We saw them at the Molson Amphitheater when they were performing, well, when he was performing with Green Day last year. And uh, I thought that was the closest we would ever get. That was the closest so far, like thus far. Yeah, we, we had been front row. That was the closest until, you know, what you're about to see. Before that, the closest <clears throat> I had gotten was when he was St. Jimmy on Broadway. I think I was third or fourth row. I remember he drank from his water and spat it in the crowd and it was all over my face. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Watch to the end. It's really exciting, especially for Green Day fans, long shot fans. Guys, I want to apologize in advance though because everything seems nice, steady, and smooth. But once we get to the actual concert footage, it was a little hard to keep the camera steady. Not only that, I was resting on one of the amplifiers. So, I mean, the audio is just brutal at times. It cuts in and out. And the only reason I was recording, I don't usually record at shows, but the reason I was recording is because a lot of people were messaging me, asking me, uh, hey, can you film this song? Hey, can you film that song? It was honestly too much to handle. So I just recorded what I could. I was still enjoying the concert. I don't really like to be up in the singer's face while I have a camera there. So I was trying my best to, to kind of like hide it. Um, but I hope you guys do enjoy everything I did record. This is for the fans. This is for everyone who wasn't able to attend the show. She has been waiting 15 years for the moment that she got at the end of this video. You guys will see it if you stay through to the end. But she's been waiting patiently. She's gone to Green Day and Broadway. She's gone to pretty much every Green Day show in Ontario. Um, we even New went York to see them in New York City. You'll see what waiting and patience finally granted her. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you stay through to the end, we'll see you there. So they let us inside the Horseshoe Tavern and I think it's a lot hotter in here than it is outside. Phones are dying, not good, so we're gonna stay off the technology for a bit. She has a charger, my phone's dying. Good thing is there's a breeze coming through the front and the back door. So every few minutes we're lucky enough to experience that feeling. <laughs> so right now we're listening to somebody doing the soundtrack on the drums. Soundtrack. Soundtrack. Trek. Like Star Trek. We're listening to somebody doing the sound check on the drums. I should be doing it. But Crystal, this is actually her first time being at the front of the line, so she's pretty happy. Great, I'm exhausted. If we hadn't come when we did, I would not be
She got her set list signed, and Chris, Crystal got exactly what she wanted. She got her autograph on her wrist, and she got a photo. Oh my god! I'm freaking out. He has my marker. Does he? So thank you for watching guys. If you made it this far, well, obviously you've watched everything or you just skipped ahead to this part. But I hope you really enjoyed everything that I filmed. And I know, I, like I apologize once again, it was really hard to keep the camera steady. I was bleeding from the mouth. I had my face smashed against the stage. I got kicked in the head, kicked in the face. All worth it though. Oh, 400 people. There was like literally a sea. It felt like a wave, like going back and forth. Sea of people crushed us against the stage. All worth it as you can see though because the result was Crystal finally getting that photo with him and I mean I, I was shocked I didn't even realize that when she ran up to him she finally got Billy Joe's autograph on her on her arm I wanted this tattoo for so long yeah she has talked about this for years I'm, I'm exhausted from just trying to help her get that opportunity and get that photo but it's done our bodies are healing my ear is actually still Slowly coming back. I mean, I, I can't hear anything. I still hear ringing. I'm you? covered in bruises. I had to get a yeah. tetanus shot yesterday. Oh yeah, she she I, sliced her I hand on a piece of glass. Open. Yeah, there was glass on the stage, yeah. so I scraped my hand open with that. Uh, bruises on my chin, like they're turning purple. Yeah, we um, uh, we went through a beating just to get that opportunity. But yeah, getting the autograph, I stuck my wrist out to Billy, and I was like, "Can you please sign my wrist?" And he grabs my sharpie and he carefully signs it because he knew I was gonna tattoo it. And I don't know where that sharpie is today, but I have the cap. Then the photo came along and it was... He he waited until Brandon's cue that the photo actually came out good. The lighting from the venue was shining down on the camera, so... I mean, the angle, it's pr it was pretty bad. And I was like, I started to sweat buckets. I was like, oh my god, she's not going to get the photo. But I was pretty vocal and I was like, hold on, the lighting is in the way. We're not going to get the, we're not getting the shot. Um, and then I adjusted it and Billy Joe was so nice. He actually just stood there and waited until Crystal got the photo. I think and it, honestly, I think he remembered us from the front of the stage. I was wearing this shirt, so. You can't really forget. You can't really forget this shirt and. But the post he wrote on the photo was basically about how all these people are trying to get stuff, stuff signed to sell on eBay when the diehard fans have been waiting there for years of their life to try and get an opportunity. So I think he recognized that we were in the very front and obviously you'd have to wait for hours to get there. So I think that's why he waited. She got the photo and shockingly enough, she got the autograph on her wrist. So I'm so happy about that because I didn't think she was going to get both. I thought it was one or the other, no. but... I walked up to him after and I think you were you were vlogging. I don't know what you're doing. No, I was about to. I was about to start filming. But as soon as I got that photo with Billy, like people were just it, swarming him. So I had to get out of the crowd and like, the, the manager was helping me get out of the crowd and I'm like, I'm sorry, like I'm trapped. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I just walked around, I bolted through the crowd because I knew everyone was gonna try and, and surround him and um... Then I walked up to him Yeah. and I was like, oh my god, I'm freaking out. And then I just whipped out my arm. But I showed her the photo first. I was like, it's a little blurry, but I hope it's okay because it wasn't gonna be perfect. It was like a split second. It was, it was a high intense moment. But then, yeah, she... I just went like this and his face was like, I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my god, you got both? And she got the set list, she got his water bottle, and... He took my phone And And twice. he took her phone. So I think this is everything she ever wanted, and I'm so happy I got to witness it because she was in heaven that night, and uh... Yes. I mean, that's that's literally one of her dreams come true. So. I want nothing else, honestly. Yeah. Birthday, Christmas, I don't want anything. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna document that and I have put it this all. in the video because this is, <laughs> you are all witnesses now. Yeah, come her birthday and Christmas, you know, I get to save a little more money. Yeah. Um, but guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that all the people attending the long shot shows, the handful that are left on this tour, will get the opportunity to not only be front row, but to also meet Billy Joe and get an autograph. I just, you know, there's so many diehard fans and there's so many people that love this band. 
well, I love Billy Joe, love Green Day, love everything they do, and there's so much that their music has done for people. So this video was just for the fans. It was for the people that didn't get to attend the show, and I really got. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, if you guys have the opportunity to go to a long shot show, you're gonna have to be patient. You're gonna have to wait in line. Uh, we thought people would be camping overnight. We were lucky enough to be the first in line, and nobody was camping. Thank I, God. In the states, a lot of people were camping the night before. Yeah. So. Be patient, get there early, um, stay hydrated, mm -hmm. make sure to use the washroom before those venue doors open. Don't let anyone cut the line. Yeah, don't let anyone cut the line. That's that's one issue that people run into. Sometimes people will try and, and bypass the line, but we were lucky enough to have people with us that were kind of vocal about that. And they weren't rude. They weren't they weren't trying to offend anyone or, or attack anyone. They were simply saying, listen, we've all been waiting patiently since this morning. So just out of respect, please wait. So, I mean, at the end of the day, there's, there's, I mean, I don't think there's been a better day of her life. I, yeah, I never thought that I would meet Billy Joe. Yeah, Like, so. I, I was a little girl sitting in my room, like, Green Day posters everywhere, just thinking, like, how am I ever going to meet these people? Yeah. Anyways, guys, we're going to end this, so thank you again for watching. I hope you subscribe and like this video, and again, good luck to everybody attending the long shot shows that are left on this tour. Good luck. It's bullshit, I did not hit her. No, it's not true, don't even ask. I did not.